I think probably serving looks different at different stages of life as well. If you're, if you're single or a uni student, you may have more time um, that you can give and the way that you can give that time may be different. If you have a young family, you maybe need to allocate your time differently or the way that you can serve would look different. And if you're retired, um, you know, you, you might be able to give at a time, give your time at a time when other people can't. Uh, we've kind of tried to say that we're not going to go to, to everything, um, but we're going to choose something that we're really passionate about and where we think that God has given us gifts to serve and do that as best as we can. So toddlers is kind of your walkers to your three-year-olds um, and we kind of try to show them God's love predominantly uh, through some structured play, some craft, um, hanging out with them, reminding them of God's love as we care for them um, in quite tangible ways, I think. And Colin! And Colin, yes, we love Colin. <laughs> I really enjoy our toddlers group um, because I think you get to build their foundation of God um, even through just praying at morning tea. It's been great to watch our kids develop over the last few months to actually saying amen and closing their eyes and hands together because sometimes they don't do that. And recently it's just been getting really great. Um, so yeah, I just love watching them build their foundation of Christ. Uh, so I, my heart behind serving the 8am, initially I did start attending the 8am and now that I attend the 10am more frequently, and uh, I was asked to, to about serving in the capacity of setup for the 8am, which I do fortnightly. And uh, I just have a passion to be able to serve where I can. And um, it's an essential service, uh, service role to have seats to sit on. And um, I enjoy getting, uh, being able to utilise my skills to be able to serve that and, and make it as great as it can be. On Sunday morning, um, you can serve in a bunch of different ways. One of the greatest ways you can serve on Sunday morning is just sitting in the pews, active, you know, actually listening to the sermon and talking to someone afterwards. And it can be and talk about things rather than the local football team or the weather. Um, uh, and that's sort of a good, a good example. You don't need to be on the welcoming team to welcome. You can just have a chat to the person you're sitting beside right now. Um, and that can be a wonderful use of your time. You can ask them how their day was and you can pray with them. You know, how often do we pray with people after church? Just randomly. Um, there's nothing stopping us from doing it, but we can. Um, and so you don't have to be part of the welcoming team to welcome. You don't have to be part of a team here on a Sunday morning to be very, very purposeful um, about how you use your time on a Sunday, on a Sunday morning. But that's not what I'd, you know, I'd say do that. And that's just part of being part of the congregation. Um, that's, that's, that should just be part of what we all do um, here on a Sunday morning. Um, but I'd say ministry is doing something else beyond that on, on, a, on a different day or yeah, something else. Our vision is to be an ever-growing, diverse church family. The grace of Jesus unites and transforms us. To worship God wholeheartedly. Love each other deeply. And to serve our community boldly.